So I just wanted to talk about uh, like the, inter the entertainment industry, I guess, and the media. I wanted to talk about the media. So I was a musician for pretty much 20 years, and I did some writing before then. And sort of, I know a little bit about sort of how that works. And the short version of it is, is that music is magic. And you know what is magic? If like if you're a if you're a Bible believer, you probably have some bit more of an idea of this. And you know if you're a witch or something, you probably have a bit more of an idea. But if you're coming from a scientific sort of secular perspective, then you probably don't like you. When I say magic, magic is real. You probably just think I'm crazy or something, because you, know, you think of magic as you know, casting fireballs or something like it is in the computer game or in the movies. That's not what magic is. Magic is, <laughs> broadly speaking, it's managing people's perceptions of reality, managing, manipulating, changing, and you know, doing things that. Uh, It's manipulation, let's say. Let's say in the to be simplistic about what it is. Reality manipulation. It's not just that. It's a, some of it is harnessing um, to demonic energy or whatever you know that side of things. But leaving that aside, uh, you can think of it as propaganda. We're going to talk about this from a secular perspective. Propaganda, so the reality manipulation through the media. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because I think that for people who don't understand what is actually going on, like I know people in my life who are very arrogant about uh, sort of the, their opinion towards the media. They don't think they can be manipulated. Like they think that advertisements are just about selling you a product, when they think that you know movies are just. <laughs> You know, a bunch of people doing things on the screen, but that you know it has an effect on you. There's a there's an agenda behind it all, and there's a a consistent symbology behind it, which has an effect on you. It, like whether or not you are aware of it or not, like most people aren't aware of what's going on. But even if you are aware, it, it still has an effect on you. So what I'm talking about is like when you listen to a song, for example, if you're listening to a you know a rock song or something, you know, an, an upbeat, sort of loud piece of music. Well, you know, that has an effect on your physiology. If you're listening to a, a slow, soft, sort of sad, or melancholy song, well, yeah, it has an effect on your physiology and on your on your psyche. It changes the way you think and the way you feel, and you know that's meaningful because you can manipulate people with that. And then there's, you know, words you can use in your songs. And if you know, get people singing those words, well, that ideology, the ideology associated with those words is going into their head. Or if you're watching a movie and people in the movie are behaving a certain way and maybe across a whole bunch of movies you've got people behaving in a particular way to, in a particular situation, well, you're going to be influenced by that. And if you're, you are ever in that situation, well, you're likely to behave in the way that they're behaving in the movies because you've, you've seen other people doing that thing and maybe you've never been in that situation before and the only time you've encountered that situation is in a movie. So you know, you're being affected by that. And sort of social norms are influenced by the media we consume. I mean, the... Yeah, so if we... People don't I think people are starting to rec recognize that with uh, n the news, and think the the divide between the left and right politically has, you know, the people who are, are looking at it, you know, can see it's, it's clear that the left side of media and the right side of media are completely different and are selling different points of view, and as a result of that, the people who are watching the left side of the media and watching the right side of the media have a completely different point of view. And not just because they came in with a different point of view, but they're being influenced in different directions. And I think people... I, mean, I don't think very many people are aware quite to the extent that the media influences their life. And when I, when I say media, I mean all media. I'm talking about movies, I'm talking about television, 
I'm talking about the news and your newspapers, I'm talking about radio, I'm talking about the internet, I'm talking about computer games, I'm talking about every single piece of media uh, that you consume. You know, advertisements on a, you know, at the bus, <laughs> the bus stop, everything, every single thing that you consume, uh, it all affects you. I think people don't realize uh, the extent to we to which it affects you, and I think also people don't rec recognize the extent to which it's deliberately manipulated, because there's there's a deliberate agenda behind the media, a deliberate, consistent agenda, especially in America, or you know, in in America and in Britain and Australia and Canada and you know the the Western English speaking countries, which is where I would have experience. I don't know as much what's going on in non-English speaking countries, but I assume it's the same thing. And there's a consistent agenda pushed and you know, a, a worldview that's pushed and the and I've talked about fake flat earth in a, a previous video. Flat flat earth is a really bizarre topic because I mean I, I looked into that back in probably April of two thousand and eighteen for the first time, sometimes around sometime around then and then I told people about it, and you know I got the obvious obvious pushback because you know it's a crazy idea, right? Like I I recognize how what it <laughs> how you come across when you say the Earth is flat, and so I, I rechecked, and then there was a time where I wrote an email and sent it to some people, and I included flat Earth in that, and it was information I was giving out, and then I rechecked it again, and I've, I've rechecked flat Earth about five times because it's just such a difficult. It's a difficult thing to believe, even though like I've, I look into it, and you know I check, and it's like yeah, I'm seeing it. It seems obvious once I look into it, but then the propaganda on that is so strong. It's probably the strongest single piece of propaganda, sort of single subject area, let's say, of propaganda that there is. I mean, if you think about all the the space things that exist, you know, like Star Wars and the fake space things, you know, fantasy space things, but then also the real space things and all the, you know, the science shows and all that type of thing. And then just the, like, the amount of times people will use a, a globe icon or just talk about the globe or talk about planets or something. The, the amount, it comes up really often, basically, is what I'm trying to say. The propaganda is really, really strong. And even though I am... Um, I've I've looked into a whole lot of stuff and I believe a whole lot of conspiracies and like I've seen a whole lot of things and I've you know researched a lot and taken a had a concerted effort to prove you know what what I believe and you know and it's consistent with the Bible and that type of thing. Well, even then it's because of the media and because of I guess popular opinion as well because most people don't think the Earth is flat. Obviously, they think we live on a globe. It's really hard to hold that idea, even though I've, I've checked it and I've checked it and I've checked it probably five times, like in five sessions of, all right, I'm going to re go over this subject. And I think, yeah, it, it's the same though with every, with every topic, with every conspiracy, you might say. The, the uh, general consensus is that none of the conspiracies are true. You know, 9 11, you know, the official story, most people believe the official story, I think. Although there's a lot of people who don't. I'm just getting a bit tired. And yeah, all of the all of the conspiracies. There's some truth in all of the conspiracies, but it's hard to sort of maintain. You end up becoming almost sort of a crazy person to believe them because there's, there's so much <laughs> propaganda against a, a lot of this stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff that's going to come out. But you know, flat Earth would be an example. There's so much stuff against it such a strong influence to believe in a particular worldview, it's really hard to get over that. And one of the difficulties in explaining to people, like I've tried to explain what's going on to people, but it's hard to know even where to start because it's everything. Like the, the entire fabric of reality, like the movie The Matrix, is not actually that far off the truth. Not so much, like we don't live in a computer simulation, or They Live would be another one, John Carpenter's They Live. The, the idea that there's a sort of a true reality, but nobody can really see what the true reality is, because there's, you know, in the Matrix, it'd be this computer system that you know, they're living in, and they live, it's, I think it's like a, 
like a reality distortion field, let's say. So you can't actually see what the what the true reality is. Well, it's kind of like that. It's not just it's not just that there's one topic. You know, it's not just that nine eleven was an inside job. You know, it's not just that um, a lot of the religions in the world are you know Babylonian mystery school magic things. And, you know that it, it's not just that sort of bits and pieces of science are a lie. You know, it, it's not just one thing. It's everything. It's it's an it's a world view. Let's say it's a sort of I guess scientism would be the the world view that most people hold. That is a it's not not a scientific world view, but it's a it, it's a world view in which I guess scientists are the priests. They they're the people who are in control of the truth. And it, it's not all of science, like sci the scientific method isn't corrupt, but the uh, the worldview that is sort of, I would say it's, at this point it's diverted from science. It's a it's a corrupt worldview, and uh, sort of the understanding that people have of what's going on in the world and how the world works. Like people, a lot of people believe in democracy, for example, and they you know they get very involved in the political debates, and you know they argue fervently for their position. Where Really, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. It's just a distraction. I mean, you, you get <laughs> even just from the point of view where you get one vote every what four years or three years or five years depends which country you live in. But I mean, it, it's almost it's almost meaningless, really. And everybody knows that you're not going to get what you want. You get anyway. The the point is, there's a way that. People think <laughs> reality is a particular way, and they think that because of the media. The media, and not and I don't just mean the news media, I mean all of the media. But it's all controlled, and that's something that has become evident with the uh, research into yeah, the corrupt society, <laughs> like the satanic cabal that's running the world, let's say. Um, all musicians that, that make it, all of the all of the movies that come out of Hollywood, all of the television on the major television stations and you know the ra major radio stations, it's all controlled. Every single bit of it, every single last little bit of it is controlled. And so it's you know, and most books that come out, and most information that exists, is controlled by the same people. We, you could say we live in a totalitarian, a global totalitarian dictatorship already pretty much i mean it it's going to become official soon enough but pretty much so the, the the point i'm trying to make i suppose is it's not even it's not even thinking for yourself it's just i guess maybe you just need to hear it like the reality isn't as it seems and uh don't believe what people tell you because <laughs> It, it it is pretty much impossible thing to explain, right? just how different reality is. I mean, that's why I think flat Earth is a good subject because it really it just it does cut through a lot of things. I mean, it it shows you <laughs> how many people lie. But yeah, the media be be careful of the media. They they mess with your mind. There's there's very powerful ways to influence you, and there's nothing you can do about. Them that influence i mean if you if you know what's going on then you'll be less affected by it because you can see or oh, you know they're using this particular sounds in this you know this movie or you know this this documentary they're using these particular sounds at this particular moment so therefore they're they are attempting to manipulate me to feel a particular way but it still has an effect on you even if you know it's there or you know you might see the I don't know, there's so many things basically the, the people who are making this media they're, they're experts <laughs> they're experts in doing what they do and they will manipulate you so I mean this time that's coming up it might even be worth not looking and I know it's hard or well, I don't even know I don't even know what advice to give but just be aware I suppose be aware that the media affects you it affects what you think and you're being manipulated by the media that you watch. And it's not just mainstream media either. It goes down to YouTube personalities. I would say basically all of the prominent YouTube 
people are also involved in the same system in one way or another, directly or indirectly. Like I, I, I don't think you can become popular in the world unless you've sold yourself out in some way. I don't think, it, I don't think you're allowed to. Like I, I don't think that the powers that be... I think the control is that tight that it's... At this stage, I mean, it may not have been the same in the past, but at this stage, I think you basically will not see... And nobody's going to become popular without being corrupt because it just won't be allowed to happen. So be careful what media you consume. When I became a Christian, I... I had a bunch of records, I broke them all, I threw out, I threw out all of my music, and uh, but basically everything, and I haven't, I've still been watching a bit of YouTube to, to educate myself on various things, but as far as entertainment goes, like, you know, I have not, don't really listen to music anymore, I've got a couple of ambient albums I listen to, but pretty much nothing, and don't watch movies anymore, I don't watch television, I... Yeah, I get some news, but I try to spread out where I'm getting it from and get a wide wide range of opinions, so I'm not getting just one viewpoint. Um, yeah, pretty much I've, I've stopped consuming media as much as I can. Because, yeah, you just get influenced by what you see. It's it's hard. If you, if you have empathy, then you empathize with what you're seeing. I mean... Like, you have a show like The Sopranos, for example, or, you know, any show where you're watching, or Breaking Bad, or you're watching bad people do bad things, but they're the main character. You empathise with them. You can't help it. And, you know, if a news story is presented in a particular way, or, you know, if you get a documentary, there was that period back in, I guess the 2000s would would have been the period of the manipulative documentary where there were a lot of, like, Zeitgeist, for example, or lots of documentaries would come out and you know, breaking new ground on, seeing things we'd never seen before. Vice was a, you know, Vice came up in the sort of a new style of documentary and it's, it influences you. Uh, but it's all propaganda, all of it. Like they, and, and not, everybody has their own perspective and they're trying to convince you of that perspective. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to do as well. Well, kind of, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no, no it's all propaganda. It's all, all, all propaganda from the perspective of, Everybody has an influence on you, whether or not they intend to or not, whether or not you intend to be, you know, whatever your attitude is going in, you're going to be affected by your experiences and your experiences include the media you consume. Uh, So yeah, be careful about the media that you consume and read the Bible.